Electrosonics Incorporated was founded in 1971 in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The company moved to a new facility in a business park in nearby Rio Rancho in 1988. The first building at the new location was 25,000 square feet. More land was purchased and the machine shop was built in the early 1990s. An addition to the machine shop was added on in the early 2000s for the service department and the company continues to expand today. A fast walk through the hallway in the front offices shows a typical view of the Electrosonics facility. Functional and efficient, comfortable, but all business. 15 engineers design RF and audio circuit board layouts and write code for microprocessors, DSP processors, FPGAs, and software GUI interfaces. Mechanical engineering is the key to building products that house the circuitry and can survive the tough environments where the products are used. A TIM cell is used to verify that the hardware designs meet technical requirements for compliance in different markets throughout the world. The machine shop is where the aluminum, brass, and stainless steel parts are built to house the circuitry. A broad collection of mills produce the parts from solid aluminum billets to very tight tolerances needed for the increasingly small products. A six-axis mill machines complex housings for products such as the handheld HHA transmitter and HMA plug-on transmitter. This mill can run lights out with an automatic material feeder and deliver parts into a rotary tray for movement to the next process. Drill presses are operated manually with special jigs to make housings built with aluminum extrusions. The finished parts are precision built to thrive in the real world where the products are used. Cutting small and large parts from sheet metal requires precision to make certain the parts will fit into the assemblies for which they are designed. An advanced laser cutter is used for this part of the manufacturing. The laser cutter can handle aluminum, brass, and stainless steel material within very tight tolerances for parts ranging from tiny brass RF shields to stainless steel belt clips to larger aluminum parts for rack mount chassis. Small sheet metal parts are then bent by hand and larger sheet metal parts are shaped with a hydraulic precision brake. Plastic parts made from Delrin, nylon, and other materials are injected into molds made in the machine shop to tight tolerances. These parts are then manually trimmed before delivery to mechanical assembly and final assembly. Parts from the machine shop must then be assembled for everything from battery compartments and contacts to control panels. Connectors are installed with sealants to provide the durability needed for environments where the products are used. When the finished parts are delivered to the stock room, first they must be marked for the technical requirements and identification. This is done with the latest laser engraving machines. The result is a durable and clearly legible marking. There are currently over 11,000 parts in the inventory, with over 5,000 active to build products. Purchasing the parts and maintaining the inventory is a matter of planning and timing. Pulling parts and assembling kits for the production floor is a large and detailed process. Now that the circuit boards are designed and delivered, the electronic components must be installed. The parts range in scale from tiny pepper-sized components to ball grid arrayed chips and other larger components. Alignment to ten thousandths of an inch is required. Small parts are provided on 8mm and 16mm reels just like old film movies. The pick-and-place machines pull the parts off the reels and place them on circuit boards.
including a visual verification, that's the red flash in the video, to make sure that they are placed correctly. After the circuit boards are populated, the next step is to inspect them visually to identify errors in parts placement and soldering. The inspection crew becomes very familiar with common problems with how the parts are installed. In a few cases, a part must be removed, resoldered, and replaced using fine pitch soldering tools. After the circuit boards have passed visual inspection, the next step is electrical inspection. Automatic testing equipment is used to verify that the functions of the boards perform as designed. The final confirmation that the circuit boards and subassemblies work to specification, manual testing is performed on open benches and in a Faraday cage or screen room. If the test of any particular board does not meet the exacting criteria, it is returned to engineering for analysis. This is the final stage of testing to make certain that the parts delivered to final assembly will meet the design specifications. Final assembly is the largest area in the factory other than the machine shop. Mechanical and electrical parts and subassemblies are delivered to this department from the stockroom in kits ready to build the finished products. The assemblers in this department are highly skilled with many years of experience to ensure that the finished products perform as designed and as needed for the customer's environment. Once the products are built, they go through QC to assess the performance of each and every finished product. Only after passing QC, the product is delivered to finished goods for delivery to the customer. Over 90 different end item products and about 250 different accessories are kept in the finished goods area, ready for packing and shipping to locations all over the world. Once the products are delivered to the final customers for work in the field, the factory is responsible for maintenance and continued support to make sure the products perform to specification reliably over the long term. A dozen benches and workspaces are used by an equal number of techs in two shifts to repair and return equipment to customers all over the world. A Faraday cage or screen room is used when critical measurements must be made or to avoid interference from one bench to another when needed. Receiving and returning shipments to the customers is handled by a separate department dedicated to handling only repair work. There is a simple and enduring philosophy at Electrosonics. Make the best products we know how to build and support them with the best service we can deliver.